Good morning, uh, Jonathan Crawford from CMB Truck Centre, and I have with me this morning Noel Palia, the Chief Engineer from uh, Kenworth, Australia, and she's here to introduce us to the new K220 product. This is one of our new validation models that's going on the road with one of our customers uh, this morning. So, you'd like to talk us through some of the features, Noel? Yeah, thanks so much for having us here. We're very excited with the new K220. Uh, we're going to start at the very top. One of the things that we wanted to change about the K220 is make sure that it's very aerodynamic. You know, it is a big square, so what can we do is we could pull the roof forward, the forehead of the roof forward, um, get rid of the Vista window so that you don't have all that heat coming into the interior of the cab um, when you don't want it. Uh, streamline the airflow on the hood to the um, back of the, or sorry, through the sleeper to the front of the trailer, and that gets about a 4%, 5% aerodynamic improvement of the airflow, which is roughly around 2% fuel economy improvement. So huge benefit there. And then when we jump inside, you'll also see that it gives a lot more room for the driver on the interior as well. So and then coming down on the truck, the grill is also another big feature. We wanted to make a, a statement with the grill, make it look very strong, bold. Uh, we've updated the mesh. We've gone from the mesh to punched aluminum. A grill and it does look very similar we brought the truck in line with our 610 product it's a very similar grill just to make sure that it's part of the family of Kenworths here in Australia so we have new LED headlights that we've introduced on this model it does have the indicator integrated into the headlight okay. um, so that there's no need to have one separated out so coming around to the side John, we have a chassis mounted steps now um, so we've taken them from being mounted to the cab to separate mounting that allows us to put more strength into the step so that we don't, if there's any side debris that takes out the step, we don't damage any of the fiberglass yep. on the, the cab itself. Uh, that allows us to have very nice, strong uh, egress and ingress uh, as the driver gets in and out of the truck, make sure that everything's nice and safe and sturdy. Tell me about the, uh, the, the cockpit of the truck here, Noel. Yeah, so you'll notice we really wanted to make sure that the driver feels like they're in control of the vehicle, they're very comfortable. So we really focused on the driver, the cockpit uh, for the driver. So one of the, the big changes that we've done is we've introduced a 15 inch digital display. And this gives all the information to the driver when they need it. So for example, it says Hill Start Assist is disabled. So the driver will know that it's very clear what's going on with the truck. They can keep their eyes on the road, their mind on the job itself, and then let the truck tell them what they need to know when they need to know it. The steering wheel has been updated so that it controls the display. So very easily the driver can go to what we would call a dark mode. Um, normally, if there was nothing wrong with the truck, you would only see the speedometer um, in this mode. But because the lo there's low air pressure, as well as the truck stopped and the coolant temperature is low, that information is available for the driver. So even if they had no nothing of the gauges selected, that information would still show the driver. And then just using the steering uh, controls here, they can add um, even more information, as well as go into a favorite slide where they can customize completely how this looks. Um, then they have ability to change the settings, they can customize their view, they get their trip summary, uh, they get all of the truck information easily accessible at their fingertips. This truck is also an automatic truck and we've gotten rid of the Cobra shifter here to allow more room yes. for the driver access into the back of the truck and the controls now, the DNR, the drive neutral reverse controls are located right here on the stock mounted shifter as well as engine brake selection. So you can select the different um, levels of engine brake all the way down to max mode very easily with keeping you know your fingers on the wheel and just easily moving that um, up and down just to select different levels of engine brake required. And manual selection for the transmission as well? And manual selection right here is forward back. Yes. Yep. Okay, for hill descent. And then manual, yep, for hill descent and manual automatic is controlled. The selection is on a button on the end and then it frees up this control. Fantastic. We also have a new HVAC um, system. It's almost double the amount of airflow that you would have from the current K200. That was one of the feedbacks we got from the drivers was that they really wanted to improve the HVAC system. Uh, so we focused a lot from a design standpoint on that. It's a completely new system uh, with control strategy here. It does have climate control so you can set the temperature you want and forget about it. Uh, just to, you know, one less thing for the driver to have to worry about and we want them to be comfortable in the cab as they operate the truck. Um, all of the switches are within easy access of the driver. Yep. So we have a very ergonomical layout of the switches. Uh, we have new area for drinks as well as 
for those with newer iPhones, we do have a charging pad, wireless charging pad, so it's hand-free charging, um, just to keep, um, and then it's also tied into the um, AVN display so that you don't have to be on your phone, but you can answer calls, make calls, um, select music, everything from the AVN that's attached to your phone as well. One of the advantages of having this technology available to the driver is really to make their life easier. And so with a flip of a switch here, we can run diagnostic check at the start of the day, the end of the day, whenever a driver feels the need to do that. The system will check 12 different systems on the truck and then give a report out to the driver of the health of those systems. So it's, um, we're already at six systems now. It will also activate all of the lights externally so the driver can flip the switch, do their drive around. Um, yep. or sorry, walk around to make sure that they're checking all the lights are functioning correctly and then come back in and have a report out on the health of the truck. And you see we have no problems here. No issues, yep. And if there were issues, again, this control is going deeper into that information to explore what issues there are, fault codes, um, what action needs to be taken. We've also improved the storage. So I mentioned earlier from the outside that we've pulled the forehead of the truck forward, mm -hmm. which gives a lot more headroom for the, the driver. Um, there's a, about three times as much storage as what's currently available on the K200 model. Yes. We've also put reinforced, um, reinforced cabinets here that you can actually hang on these cabinets and yeah. use it to help yourself get around as a handle. And then we also have a lot of different options for storage in the rear. So these, this is just one of the options. We have back wall storage. We have uh, for a 2.8 cab, you would have um, stand up storage, uh, more of like a traditional closet. Uh, so just many, many different options for storage, making sure that the driver can set up their, the vehicle like their home. Uh, for this truck, we've really made a lot of improvements for the driver. We've focused on what's important to them. So one is more room in the cab, a better layout, a dash that gives them information that they need to know when they need to know it, new safety design features, uh, for example, better egress, ingress, um, better uh, a fusion system that helps with emergency braking. Um, all of those types of software improvements have been rolled into this truck model. Well, thank you, Noel, for coming across here and uh, running us through the new features on this fantastic new new product, so K220, terrific truck. Oh, thanks, Jono. We really hope the customers love it as much as we do. I'm sure they will.